Hello. Happy Arvo. And thank you for joining me today. I'm hungry. So we're looking at top five Australian food. You got to try in Australia. Right off the bat, I see this dude's chowing down on some Asian food, which I just realized Australia is really close to Asia. You know, I know you guys have some Asian people. In fact, you might be Asian. I might be. No, I'm not Asian. Um, but anyway, this looks amazing. And this is just a picture, so I can't wait to get it, get into it. Two Hungry Diners. Go check out their channel, you know? It's a small channel, what can I say? This video is a couple years old, but food is timeless. Something about this just looks... Those noodles, okay, that's kind of gross. This frame is kind of gross, how it's just like... All right, I'm just going to play. Enjoy a little bit of freedom, and this is our first day where retail... I was going to say, I'm surprised people are actually outside socializing. What is going on? October 2020. And restaurant can open as well. Woo. But today, we are in this park, which is close to our apartment, and we are... It's crazy to think COVID started three years ago at this point, and it's finally, like, over. Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank God. We're going to show you guys five fast food chain from Australia that you should absolutely... I didn't even realize it was fast food <laughs> i think i probably should have read that but that's more exciting to me yes fast Try food if you are travel to this beautiful country so let's check them out that looks like arby's but not trash our first one here is called grill and we have reviewed grill before grill. in one of our video, which is the top five Australian food that you have to try. So and it's gonna be good. We also order the same thing. We get the Mighty Melbourne, which is the menu that you can only find in Melbourne. Well, the store, the first grill store is actually here in in the suburb where we live so and right now they are growing and from this humble beginning they are really really like massive right now this chain is loved by a lot of australian you know um, and they are known for like healthy burger as well look at this one guys Ooh, fast food in australia is a little bit different than me this looks so much better than american fast food Maybe some of the fast food in the US, um, in a sense that they are not really like a junk food, but they are like more healthier. Yeah, this actually looks legit. Their version of the fast food. So we and it's assembled like actually lined up. The sandwich is lined up. The bun's not like the two buns aren't halfway off each other with the cheese falling off the other side. Yeah, if you are in Australia, guys, don't go for McDonald's. Go for a burger Macas. from Grilled. And they are, like, really amazing. This is the Mighty Melbourne, guys. and it's Wow, that looks actually phenomenal. That has to cost a lot. Side of it, we have the beef patty. We have the beetroot. We have the bacon. We have the... Oh, the beetroot. Fried egg as well, along with tomatoes and lettuce. Honestly, guys, I cannot fault this burger from Grill. They are really, really amazing. The patty, um, the fried egg, the bacon, everything all together is really, really amazing. And we also ordered the zucchini chips. And this is like... Um, That's not healthy. Who are we kidding? That looks way too good to be healthy. It's literally deep fried. It's mostly like fried breading. It looks absolutely incredible though. Like the healthier version of chips and really, really amazing. I knew he'd say it was healthy. I guess it's healthier than chips. There's a zucchini in there somewhere. Amazing, I mean, if you're like looking for something healthier, then this is perfect. Like everything is so crunchy, you know. I can, I can. Oh yeah, lot. it's like fried, fried pickles kind of. Do you guys have fried pickles? <laughs> Those are good. All right, though. All right, guys, this is the next item. This man, Igomez. Yes, you have might heard of this before in our channel because we mentioned it. Uh, and this is Taco Bell, but better. About a couple months ago, during the lockdown, we ordered Guzman and Gomez. It's one of my favorite Australian fast food to get here in Australia, of course. And this is Mexican food, by the way. They founded this uh, fast food chain um, around 10 years ago in Sydney, Australia. And yeah, I think this is one of the best Mexican uh, fast food you can get in Australia. It's, it's fresh, it's kind of healthier than Taco Bell. 
<laughs> the competitor here. Uh, so you guys do have Taco Bell. Mm. But I guarantee this thing didn't cost 89 cents. Oh, uh, yeah. I I prefer this uh, this fast food chain compared to Taco Bell, of course. If you haven't checked out the video, make sure you check oh, cool. it out. And today <laughs> I got this burrito burrito beef. And Ooh. yeah, it's very classic. It's one of their best sellers. 10 bucks, okay. Among with the taco I mean, you gotta remember that's a. I have to remember that's a U D. So it's more like seven bucks. Nachos, nachos, but this classic burrito is always a win for me. Let's try it out. It's huge. Mm. Ah, I fall in love with my first bite. So good. And I've got this uh, with slow cooked beef. It's so tender, melt in your mouth. Ooh, really nice. I like the rice. It's quite flavorful and. Yeah, let's get a second bite, right? So inside the wrap, they have this um, black bean, tomato, a thin parsley, parsley or the other one, coriander, and the pool beef, and of course the rice. Oh, they also have a new oh, menu nice. here, which is the Cali, as in California, the Cali burrito. And I've tested that before. So good. So instead of rice, they put the chips or the fries. Oh, that was really amazing. But today we are getting that the does look good. standard burrito. Never go wrong with their burrito. So good. And so far, both these places look way better than freaking. I'm too impatient. I'm going to the next one. But these places look incredible. So good. Yes. Another day another picnic at the park but today the weather is not too friendly but regardless of the weather we are still continuing our australian fast food and this is the next item noodle box noodle box this is basically our chinese fast food guys the name is noodle box of course we have to eat the noodle we really don't have any good chinese fast food here in america there's so much chinese food but it's all like Chinese buffets and Chinese takeout. Similar to fast food, you know, but nowhere where you can just up in or go through a drive through Except Panda Express, but... Nah. So what we order here is the combination noodle. The small size packaging is... 12 bucks for that! And I bet today it's like 15 bucks after all the inflation. Holy! Let me open it up. That's insane. First, the box is like very condensed into. But it is AUD, so it's more like eight bucks. To one small box. This is the combination noodle. It's really compact, like they condense it into one small box. Uh, we've got. At least I fill it up. The chicken. Up. It does look so good. The noodles look unreal. Prawn, beef, um, also the char shoe. I think they are using the egg noodles here. And also they've got uh, phages in here, like mix of phages. Looks good, smells good, although the weather is kind of cold <laughs> today. But yes, let's try this noodle. Yeah, but what I was saying about, you know, Australia is relatively close. I know there's a lot of people who move from Japan and stuff to Australia, right? Right? I think I know that. <laughs> so you guys probably have some amazing Chinese and Japanese food. Mmm, super satisfying. Mm. One thing I noticed from this fast food chain is they use fresh ingredients, so all the veggies are still crunchy and fresh, as well as the seafood and the meat still really fresh and juicy. So I feel like very this is good. a very healthy. I'm going to the next because I'm impatient. What can I say? Like. I don't actually need the whole review on that specific item. I'm just more interested in seeing the places and, you know, what they're about. But this is a good video, you know, go check out this channel. Sour Pizza has arrived here at this park where we huh? have this picnic and this is Cross Pizza. This I wonder why it's crust.coms.au rather than just crust.au. Why does it need the .com in there? This is a local pizza uh, fast food chain here in Australia, uh, founded in Australia, and we much, much prefer this pizza brand uh, compared to the US brands like Domino's or Pizza Hut mm. because it 
tastes delicious and probably close to the authentic Italian pizza. So this is 1988 margarita. This is a genuine wow. margarita. That looks way more legit. That is... I don't like it when people say it's not comparable, you know, because that does, it does, never made sense to me. Like, you can compare it to Domino's, but when people say, like, it's not comparable, I would say that if I was one of those people here because <laughs> this looks way, way more elevated, much more fancy, much more um, authentic with the leaves on there. Now, sometimes you don't want the authentic. You know, sometimes you just want, like, a... a uh, uh, little Caesars made in a factory looking thing that just is oily and costs five dollars but this actually looks good it's uh, with authentic buffalo mozzarella and cherry tomatoes on a tomato base and garnish with fresh basil cracked pepper and sea salt so let's have a slice mm. You know what I'm saying, though, about how people say, oh, you can't even compare the two. You can't even compare Domino's to this. I mean, you can. Like, it, sure you can. This is better than Domino's. I just compared them. <laughs> yeah. It's so good, guys. Right? I mean, the tomato is really rich, and the cherry tomatoes also fresh. And I like the addition of basil on top and the buffalo cheese. The US chains, normally they don't put buffalo cheese because it's kind of like more expensive, right? Like I don't even know what buffalo cheese is. Never heard of it, never had it. She's right, we don't use that. Is, is that better on pizza? They use premium ingredients here. Now I need to try. Top quality, even it's fast food, but still top. Is the buffalo cheese, um, yeah. Quality, fresh ingredients, I like it. Mm. Mm. I was going to ask if the buffalo cheese is the white cheese that I see on top. Premium ingredients here, top quality. Is it this cheese or is it the, the, the main pizza cheese? Mm -hmm. That was the amazing margarita pizza, but crust also. I thought margarita pizza meant it was just cheese, though. There were like veggies on that and stuff. It would definitely throw an American for a loop. And the duck breast is really, really tender and juicy. And you know, with these Asian ingredients, the scallion. <laughs> this looks so good. There is a, literally a puddle of oil, though. <laughs> or juices of some sort. An actual puddle. A kid could play in this puddle. And the sesame seed. Wow, it makes like this slice of pizza really, really amazing. You guys cannot miss this. It's absolutely delicious and amazing what is that chicken another day another picnic at the park and today we are going to discuss about this restaurant called snitz they produce Schnitz. a food called schnitzel basically that huh i don't I, I don't know what i'm looking at here isn't that like a german uh, thing well, to those of you who are wondering, the, these potato wedges, fries look good. What schnitzel? I don't know. This looks like a piece of pizza. This, it's basically, it's like a um, a protein fillet coated in crumb. It could be like chicken, usually chicken breast, uh, uh, but you can also do like a pork fill. You can do beef okay. schnitzel as well. I uh, coated in this crumb and the crumb can be um, a mix of like herb and cheese and spicy crumbs and then yeah they just deep fried it sounds amazing um but in case so what's this chain called or he said it already didn't he schnitz of the snitz they actually pan fried it so it's sort of like healthy we definitely don't have any fast food like this like is this german or your first year of snitz and usually served with like a chips um or also salad so it looks so good though what I've got here, guys, is a uh, chicken parma. I mean, I get that he's he's these, he's saying these are the best fast food in Australia, but these look better than all of our fast food over here in America. Now, I'm not saying American fast food is bad. It is there is some good fast food here, certainly, but this looks like it's deserving to be at a restaurant, and it's just better 
It just looks better. I, yeah. So our fast food is hit or miss. It can, <laughs> but these just look so much more, um, like so much more flavor on these fries than most places in America. Basically, uh, but with Parma, usually you top it with like a tomato sauce and also cheese, and they kind of like broil uh, the top part of the. Um, the parma itself to make it like a really uh, nice texture here and the chips from state is also in my opinion you guys call french fries chips i always get i always forget this and it's one of the best but right now because i know they do in britain but i didn't think you guys did that too it's a bit soggy because we take it outside and it's a bit windy now mm. but the flavor is still there you know you just need Maybe like put it in the oven for five, 10 minutes to make it a little bit more crispier. Mmm. Mmm. I order with the spicy crumb, guys, mm. and it's really have this. Um... I'm kind of curious. I'm just gonna. Schnitz. Schnitz. Australian fast food. I want to like see their website. Uh -huh. dot com dot au. Is that how all Australian websites are? I thought it was just dot dot au. Schnitz. I'm just trying to get an idea of what this is. Kind of like this is not. I don't know. Is it German? Is it Italian? It looks good. Somehow this is not helping me. Do they only sell sandwiches and this like chicken? Is it? Are these places all over Australia or are these just like? Well, you know what. Let's see, is schnitz all over Australia? Own a schnitz. Gosh. Oh, there's a lot of schnitz. Good amount of schnitz. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Um, let me see. Nice kick, you know, it's not too spicy, and the chicken breast is really tender and juicy. Mm. And it's not overcooked at all. I don't know if you can see this, it's perfectly cool. I can't see it. Wow. The flavor is absolutely amazing. It's really well balanced. It's really crispy. And I can't really fault this. It's probably like one of the best schnitzel here in Australia. There's a lot of schnitzel in Australia, huh? All right, another variant of the schnitzel from Schnitz. You can also get it with the roll or like a burger bun. The buns look next level here in Australia compared to America. I don't know what America's problem is, but our buns are just like super plain, boring, flavorless. All the buns I've seen look incredible. Almost, uh, also with a wrap. So for today, I chose the one with the roll. Look at this. I can't wait to take a bite of this amazing schnitzel roll. Wow. That is so good. Oh, yeah. See the schnitzel? Mm. Really good. It's very it well. does look very oh, good. Your snips or parma with beer or ale. Wait, they sell beer at fast fast food there? Okay guys, that's the end of our fast food series. <laughs> I like how he's just in a children's playground. Hey, that was a great video. Uh, go check out the Two Hungry Diners. Link down in the description and thank you for watching. I hope you are having a fantastic... Whoa, my light's falling over. <laughs> um, man, I'm all over the place today. What am I doing? Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're having a great night. I hope you're just a great person. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, goodbye. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>